favorite thing here is probably cars. There's nothing quite like it, so it's just, as an auto enthusiast, it's really cool to experience it. Welcome back to the 2022 Chicago Auto Show. We're taking you behind the wheel in a special salute. Today is the first ever first responders and military appreciation day. All first responders and U.S. military members, veterans, or whether you're on active duty, you get in free today. The show's open until 10 o'clock tonight. You have plenty of time still to make it out here to McCormick Place. And while you don't have to show proof of vaccination, you do have to wear a mask. But, of course, we're elevated from the show floor, so I'm not wearing one right now. Now, while you're here, you can't miss the Chevy Corvette Z06 convertible. It's back and better than ever in this bright orange. The 5.5-liter V8 engine produces 670 horsepower. Now, this year's auto show is small, a little more slimmed down than in years past in terms of square footage, Mary Kay, but the massive displays certainly do not disappoint. I mean, Ryan, check this out. We are on the second floor above the auto show, and you can see just how high these dazzling displays go. And one display you won't want to miss is Subarus. There are special places that call to us, places that fuel our spirit of adventure. Take a walk through the outdoors, inside, here at Subaru's immersive exhibit, designed to take you inside a national park. The sights, the sounds, even the smells of the wilderness. It's really cool, it's very live and interactive. The temperature even changes, depending on what national park. If we're in the mountains, obviously, uh, where else are you gonna come to Chicago Auto Show and get snow on you? And how about heading out of town with one of these? The 360 degree experience showcases Subaru owners real love of adventure. We always think that cars are the stars here at the Chicago Auto Show, but I think that title really belongs to these little guys. Subaru showing how much it loves pets by teaming up with local animal shelters to find all of these puppies new homes. Aren't they cute? And Ryan, since the auto show opened, 13 dogs have been adopted here. So sweet. That's, fan that's fantastic. Some puppy power, not just horsepower out here. Thanks, MK. Well, if you're in the market for some new wheels, the auto show is a great place and opportunity to see everything that's out there under one roof. Marissa Power shows us how the car buying process has really changed. Black and create the wheels. The future of car buying is here. And we'll put this as CBS2. Sales manager Danny Haggerty from Haggerty Buick GMC shows us how to build a dream car with the click of a button. Three years ago, online orders like this made up less than 20% of his dealership's car sales. Now it's upwards of 70%, which makes checking out the car in person at a place like the auto show more important than ever. In past years, people who go to the auto show might be car enthusiasts whereas now it's a great shopping opportunity. Dealerships everywhere, hit hard by chip and global supply chain shortages, scrambling to fill the holes. Consumer Report says last year, there were nearly 8 million fewer new cars made. Many Chicago area car dealer lots are either empty or using used cars to fill the lot. Right now, you're seeing a whole lot of pre-owned cars in this lot, but normally in the before times, you'd be seeing up to 200 new cars Right now, it's just the one. Dealerships with just a handful of new cars are relying heavily on the auto show to help attract buyers. So you go to the auto show and you find the car of your dreams, you know exactly what you want to do with it, then what? Most manufacturers will have a build your own feature, bring that to the dealer, sit down with the salesman or a manager, and then build the vehicle together. And make sure you ask for any incentives the manufacturer may be offering then be prepared to wait for that perfect new car to arrive. Well, turning now to some super power. Jackie rejoined us. And Jackie, I think you need to ask for a raise for what's behind you right now. Wow. <laughs> uh, Ryan, this is absolutely beautiful. This is a Rolls Royce Phantom, I'm told. And, and this is actually the car that the Queen of England typically drives around in. So yes, we would definitely need a raise to be able to uh, to afford that one. I'm here now with Ron Rausch uh, from Perillo. And just talk about these amazing, beautiful cars. This is where you come for the eye candy of the Chicago Auto Show, right? Yes, and the luxury motors that are involved here. This is a 12-cylinder engine. 
6,000 plus pounds that the queen, yes, truly has driven for many years. I love that, Ron. We're gonna take a spin over here. We're gonna try not to trip over the cord. My photographer, uh, it deserves a raise for this one as well. So Ron, talk about this uh, STO behind me. This thing can really burn rubber, right? Yes, you're looking at 631 horsepower, uh, 3,400 pounds. It's a street legal, very fast, almost race car that could be used on the track. Handsomely done and not as special as the uh, Ventador 12 cylinder, but replaces that and combines many of those elements. Ron, zero to 60, what does that bad boy take? Uh, about 3.6 seconds. 3.6 seconds, that will make you feel like you're on a roller coaster when you're speeding down. I don't want to say any Chicago road because I'm going to get in trouble, no. but maybe take that to a test track, right? That's correct. <laughs> the Evo model is the more tame version of the same vehicle and is available for street as well. Beautiful cars out here at the Perillo Supercar Showcase. Ryan, back to you. All right, Jackie, only in our dreams. I think you and I would look good in those uh, cruising around in that Phantom. Well, Nissan unveiling three concept frontiers at this year's show. Project 72X and Project Hardbody designed as throwbacks to the 80s, while Project Adventure is just that, a little sporty for fun for the outdoors. And flipping around, but not for new cars, how the auto show helps fuel more than a dozen local charities.